We're Nicole Amico, and for the past year, we've been on a slow overlanding adventure with our dog Evie and an old RAV4. A couple of months ago, we left Mexico and crossed into Guatemala, where we've been discovering the country's culture, cuisine, and of course, its unparalleled outdoor experiences. In this video, we'll be exploring the Antigua area even further by tackling two amazing day trips. First, we venture on foot, hiking up one of Guatemala's most popular volcanoes, and then we explore the Antigua Valley on two wheels to get a closer look at local life in Guatemala. You're like disappearing already. Straight up cloud. Yeah. Whoa, where the heck is our guide? <laughs> where the heck did he go? What do you think of the neighborhood, baby? This is so cool. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm hundreds of kilometers away from where any other tourist is. Yeah, same. Oh, I'm just loving this tour so much. I love that we like, we we bike, we stop, we look at something cool, we learn about Guatemala, we bike, we stop, we do that again. Yeah. It's so cool. Like all good adventures with well-made plans, things always find a way to go wrong. And in our case, it started right at the beginning. Well, this is not how we expected to start this morning. Miku came out here to get the car ready to start packing up and quickly discovered that one of our tires is actually leaking air. So he is currently in the middle of replacing the tire with the spare. But as soon as that is done, we are gonna load up the car, make our way over to Antigua, meet our guide, and then go straight to the trailhead to get this day going. Uh, what do you think our ETA is on the new tire? <laughs> Maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, we'll be fine. I can't believe of all days for this to happen, it starts today, <laughs> right before we yeah. need to drive down to Antigua. And hike a volcano. And hike a volcano, yeah. so. Yeah. Thanks, love. This is how it is. <laughs> We forgot to bring the dog's leash. So I'm currently using her seatbelt as like a, I don't know, a harness. And then <laughs> this is supposed to go into the seat, like in the seatbelt, click. But I don't know. I'm just going to try this, I think, for now. I'm laughing at how this day started with the flat yeah. tire and then forgetting the dog's leash. We're and, a little off our game. You know, I feel like we're still managing. You know, we now we have, we're using a, a dog seatbelt seat as a leash. It's better than buying a new one because we definitely don't need to buy a new one right now. Come on. I know. Sorry, she's, sweetie. She's like, amateurs. Amateur hour. Rookie mistake, I've you guys. I've never been anywhere with her before. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Sorry. So, yeah, a bit of a funny start. But now we're going to grab our guide and then we're all going to make our way over to the trailhead. Evie. Yeah. Hi, Evie. Oh. We have made it to the small town of San Francisco de Sales, which is where we'll be studying, where we will be starting our hike. We just got parked and uh, are walking over to the entrance. And I want to say right away that this place has given me small town feels. Absolutely. Horses yeah. are out. There's just like dogs everywhere, chickens everywhere. Chickens everywhere. Yeah, it's a small town feel for sure. We're just getting a little bit of extra water for ourselves and for the dog and check out the bungee cord and seat belt set up that we have for the leash. I can't believe we forgot. I still can't get over that. So this is going to be kind of a funny day. Of all days to forget the dog's leash, we chose the day we're climbing a volcano. Come on. I think Evie is very excited to be going on the hike again. She's like pulling me already. Like, what are we doing today? <laughs> okay, so just like that, we are on the trail starting the hike. That was our guide, Hoel, was explaining what was going to be happening today. We'll talk a little bit more about how we booked this all later on. But really quickly, I want to say that I am really impressed by the fact that I don't think this is going to be as hard as Akatarengo. No. It seems like it's going to be easier, which yeah. is great because I think we're only going up about 400 meters uh, in elevation gain, or maybe around 300, which is really, really good. Although it's already starting off very steep, it's steep yeah. and I'm already feeling like I'm out of breath. I think we started at like 1,900 meters, yeah. just under that, and the top um, point that we're going to is about 2,200, so not bad at all. You good, Eve? <laughs> she seems happy. She seems like a happy dog. Yeah. Yeah, she seems like. Yeah. As we're walking here, I'm dodging a fair amount of horse poop. <laughs> Something that makes 
the Pakaya hike and hiking Pakaya Volcano. So cool, is it? It's actually pretty like accessible. It's one of the most popular hikes in the Antigua area because um, you could take a horse, hence why I'm stepping over horse poop, <laughs> if the hike itself was too strenuous. So far, the terrain is great and easy, but she is steep. That's for sure, she's steep. We're just making a quick stop to check out the view, but over to my side here, you could really see the Guatemalan highlands. That's the kind of the area that we're in. And in the distance, you could see spots of different towns and villages. And there's even like a, a geothermal plant there that produces electricity. And they get that power from the kind of underground activity from these volcanoes that are all around this area. I guess that's enough to produce uh, some electricity, which is really, really cool to see. <laughs> Yeah. Are you coming, pal? Oh, he's got a hurt paw. Poor guy. You know, you don't have to come up the mountain if you got a hurt paw. We were just told that one of the reasons that the dogs will follow you up the mountain is because they hope to get some marshmallows when you go roast them. <laughs> so, he might just still keep following us even though he's got his hurt paw because maybe he just really loves marshmallows. Maybe you've noticed in some of our shots already today that we have got two guides with us today. We've got Joel, who is the guide from the tour company that we're using for this tour. Uh, and he came with us all the way from Antigua. And then once we arrived in San Francisco, the town right here, we actually hired a local guide um, that's like specific to the national park here in Pacaya, which I think is super cool. I love bringing in the local community and making sure that like the people who effectively like live around this mountain and probably have for many generations um, are still an integral part of the tourism industry here. So that's awesome. So I feel super spoiled because it's just Miko and I and Evie and two guides. Oh, <laughs> now I'm ready. <laughs> oh, that feels weird. Oh, he's so cute, but kind of creepy. <laughs> wow. So we just learned this is the a larva of a beetle. He's huge. And the beetles they create are also big. We see them at our property. I just had no idea that this was the baby beetle. Ooh, I mean, they're cute, right? He's ready. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very good protein, Omar says. <laughs> I think he's pretty cute. That's Pacaya, wow. active crater. So that is actually like the top of Pacaya Volcano. We're on part of Pacaya, this is for part of it. But that's where the big crater is. Yeah. Well oh, thanks, was that the you hardest part? Move. That was it. Oh, great. <laughs> that was really good. It's awesome. I feel pretty strong. <laughs> this has been such an amazing hike so far. And I love that we got up here so cool. in one piece and still dry. Well, I was just telling us that the darker color lava here that we can see is newer lava. So that is from an eruption in 2021. And then the lighter color lava is from 2014. So the idea is the darker the lava or the rock, I guess now, <laughs> the, the more recent the eruption, which I think is kind of cool. What do you think, girl? Yeah. What do you think? Wow, easy peasy? Look at this day so far. Easy peasy? It's lucky. Ah, yeah, no problem. It's a lucky day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is wild. In a span of maybe like three or four minutes, a huge cloud just came up and covered um, the volcano. I'm really glad that we got video of us actually being here. Otherwise, there's no proof that we got to the top, but I swear the volcano is right there. That's supposed to be a volcano. But you would never know. This is so cool. This fog is so intense. But this is the part of the tour now that we are going to go down into the uh, dry lava fields. Yeah, actually. <laughs> petrified lava, lava field. And we should be able to get uh, maybe some roasted marshmallows, it sounds like. Yeah. I'm really glad that we got the view of the oh. volcano. But I'm now also like really relishing in this kind of new eerie mood. Being in the clouds make me, makes me really feel like I am like so 20, high. 200 meters yeah, up or whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah. It's cool. You're like disappearing already. Straight up cloud. Evie girl. 
Bark once if you can hear me. Wow, I feel like I'm actually getting wet. Oh, it's warm. Like, do you do you feel like it's like almost kind of steam? Steam. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that we were like walking in the clouds here, but I actually think this is steam. It does not feel like cloud. I keep like checking the ground to make sure it's not too hot for Evie's paws, but the ground doesn't feel warm right here. Whoa. Where the heck is our guide? <laughs> Where the heck did he go? No, he's over there. Oh wow, he's hard to see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, there he is. You can see the silhouette of him. But look yeah, how many steps. Look how many steps it took for you to almost disappear. This place is wicked. This <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're getting oh, out wow. the marshmallows. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling we're not the only ones who wanted marshmallows. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so funny. They're just here. Oh. I think it's oh. I think it's so funny that these dogs have been trained to get marshmallows in this lava <laughs> yep. field because us tourists do this. Because we do this. Oh, right. <laughs> I think he's the one. he's the cook. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Yeah. Hola. Oh wow, it's steaming up in there. Oh shoot, got the camera a little too close. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, is that hot? Yeah, it's hot. Oh wow, it's something's melting in there. Already. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops, dropped a few. That explains why these guys' faces are like black. I think they've been trying to get it. So, <laughs> very first ever marshmallow from a volcano. Mm. Mm. It's kind of got like a gritty taste to it. <laughs> I think, I think it's just the marshmallow, not the lava. I think mine, mine, the scraped the, mine scraped the rock no. on the way out. I don't think so. Honestly, this is more cooked than I expected. Yeah. It was, it was we like a, We should have bought some like chocolate and some. Mm, we should have bought some like chocolate and graham crackers. Yeah. Make a little um, s'more. This was only in the little oven for like a minute and a half, maybe. That's so true. I'm surprised it came out this cooked. Okay, look, look. So it's the, the fog has cleared a bit, but you can definitely see now the steam is coming out of these rocks. It's so he put cool. his backpack there. You think it's gonna be okay? <laughs> feel like he's a cooking, guide. He knows what he's, he's doing. He's cooking his backpack. <laughs> this rock, I I feel like it really reminds me of when I was like in elementary school, and they wanted the science teacher wanted to show you what a igneous rock looks like. You know, a rock that's made from volcanic activity, and this is 100% would be the example of a. Like a very, what do you call that? The quintessential example of a quintessential lava rock. Of an igneous rock. Evie, Evie's like, Evie's mm, <laughs> tastes good. Evie. Charcoal. It's like, oh, I smell some. I smell some marshmallow. She's trying to fight it. <laughs> He's like, uh, where's my marshmallow? <laughs> it's your chance. It's your chance. You've been waiting all day. You've been walking up this mountain with your bum leg. Finally, get a marshmallow. <laughs> Everyone's ready for marshmallow. Everybody's ready for marshmallow. Oh wow, double dog. <laughs> I love that they bring like four marshmallows for guests and then like 40 marshmallows for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> This might be a good time to talk about how we organized this tour. We booked it with 10 Adventures. The story of how we booked it actually dates back uh, last year when I started working with 10 Adventures, doing a lot of their podcast work, their video editing work, and some marketing stuff just on the side of our YouTube channel. If you've never heard of 10 Adventures before, they're a Canadian-based tour company that offers tours around the world that specialize in active travel adventures. So think of things like multi-day hiking, cycling, expedition, kayaking, all those kinds of things, but in a setting of different countries around the world and adventures like hiking of volcanoes, one great example. Today's hike is actually just a small part of their itinerary that they offer for Guatemala. So normally on their website, they have a Guatemalan tours that span multiple days. You do lots of different activities. And one of them is this volcano hiking. For Nicole and I, we customized the trip to be just the day hike to the volcano Pacaya. And that's because, mostly because we have the dog and we're already exploring Guatemala already. If you guys are interested in active travel and getting out there, I want to look at a company to do it with. We can highly recommend 10 Adventures. We'll put a link down in the description for them so you can access them. Yeah. Oh, I, this is hard. Should we do? Highly recommend this. <laughs> I don't know if we should keep doing promotions while we're walking uphill, but maybe yeah. a 10 Adventures promotion is a good one. You can't be promoting an adventure travel company unless you're, you're doing sweating. it out of breath <laughs> or you're sweating, right? <laughs> we're back. What was that? <laughs> What a beautiful wow. view you have. Look at that oh, view. Well. <laughs> it's amazing. 
<laughs> no, I'm not talking about that view. I'm talking about that one right there. <laughs> this yeah. lunch looks amazing. Really Thank you so much Welcome. for setting right. it up. It looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, okay, we are gonna make this lunch stop relatively quick because I'm a little bit worried that the rain might start coming down. But I, <laughs> and I'm also starving. Hi, my girl. You already had your lunch. She's like, are we ready to go down the volcano now? Avocado frame salad. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Bye, Eve. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay, well, that was a quick way down the mountain. So fast. And this day was honestly so awesome. Went, yeah, so fast, so amazing. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. So we're going to let you guys go here, and we will catch you in the morning for the second half of this adventure. some biking today. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another day of adventures in around the Antigua area. Today's adventure is gonna be, I think, really interesting for Miko and I. It is not something that we've got a lot of experience with. We are going cycling around the Antigua area through I think about 30 kilometers of the valley in this area just to explore some of the local communities around, make a couple like cool stops along the way and see this place from a very different vantage point. Wow. We got uh, so kayaks, kayaks up there too. Yeah. Lots of bikes. Tons of bikes. We are getting suited up. Oh, got is, some helmets. This has got to be made bigger. You got a big head. <laughs> I need the biggest helmet possible. Nicole needs the smallest helmet possible. Really That's always how it goes. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> I think it fits. I think it's I think as it big fits. as it goes. Yeah. yeah. I'll also mention that this is our guide, Krista. She is going to be showing <laughs> us all around Antigua and the surrounding valley today, and she is giving us the crash course on how to ride a bike. I feel like I'm like back a, a, as a kid again. It's, like, it's, it's like been a long time. It's been, been totally so long. okay. You are in yeah. good hands. Thank We're in good hands. We yeah. feel we good, feel good already. You, the goal of this trip is to have fun. Okay. okay. Perfect. Let's do it. Think of driving or strolling through Antigua this way. So cool. It's, it's funny because so cool. we've been down all these streets before many times, but only on foot. Yeah. So to do it on a bike is a whole different experience. You know, it's not too often we visit a country and we explore by car, by foot, mm. and by bike. It's so true. What else are we missing? We take like a helicopter ride or something. Kayak. <laughs> oh, that's true, but there's no well, rivers maybe, right here. Maybe in Lake Atitlan. Definitely Lake Atitlan. Yeah. The cobblestone streets really call for the mountain bike tires. Holy smokes. Yeah, biking on cobblestone is definitely right? an interesting experience. <laughs> so welcome to San Francisco El Grande. San Francisco. That is the name of this uh, church. As you can see, uh, it has many art. It's a uh, Barroco style. Um. So we are officially at the first stop of the day. I never thought I'd be exploring the old city of Antigua by bike. It's such a cool really and cool. neat experience. It's really cool. This is a UNESCO World Heritage City, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm so glad we have these big tires because there's still cobblestone the everywhere, cobblestone. like as part of the <laughs> yeah. preservation, I think. First impressions of the biking, yeah, the cobblestones makes it so bumpy. Yeah, the, so I'm so glad we have the decent bikes. The bikes are really good. Yeah, I can great. feel the quality of them and I'm Thank excited God. to get it outside the city and see you know, how it tackles the other kind of terrain. But so far, I'm really loving this style so of just, cool. just, just like a different way to see a place. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's almost like a walking tour, but faster. But way faster. <laughs> so if you want to go and take a look uh, inside the church, you can go all around. Baby. 
baby. This is so cool. I really feel like I'm in like just a small town Guatemala. Yeah, I'm like, where the heck are we all of a sudden? I love it so much. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm hundreds of kilometers away from where any other tourist is. Yeah, same. Yeah. Feels very local. And so, so cool. I feel like because we're driving by car, it's like we are used to driving through small towns like this and like seeing these smaller local options or spots. But to do it on a bicycle feels totally different. And man, if you don't have access to a car when you go traveling, this is such a cool way to really get to experience like real Guatemala on your own. And while still like being based out of Antigua, you know? So cool. I really like how we can experience this yeah. so close, you know, we're not inside a car. Yeah. But at the same time, I also feel very safe. Yeah, I do feel, I feel really like safe. we're never in a spot long enough. We don't ever linger long enough to yeah. really draw too much attention to ourselves. Yeah, I like that. We just kind of are passerbyers. Yeah, I agree with you. I think this is our first real uphill. Okay? Yeah. How I think do you so. feel? Oh, yeah. I'm a. Well, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Beats walking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, honking for some encouragement. Yeah. Feels good. Woo! Oh my God, it's hard. How was that uphill, baby? So good. I'm not sure if you made it really clear at the beginning, but Nicole and I, we've like. We barely cycle. Barely, I had to think it's been, it's been a long time since I've been, been on a bike. Years. And uh, I feel like I was super out of practice, but it's a really good workout. It's fun. I think it's evidently I, I, leg day though. And I feel, I feel like we, we got so far already and it hasn't even been that long. <laughs> yeah, We're like outside that, the city now. On one point of that uphill, I heard you be like, well, it's hard, but it's better than walking. I was like, yeah, you have a point. You have an excellent point. I think you're totally right. <laughs> so our next stop is actually a cacao factory. So the farm is a little ways from here and then they bring the cacao beans here and they do the processing here. So I think we're gonna get a bit of a tour, maybe try some cacao, let's hope. She's a good roaster. Yes. <laughs> Everything here is amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Vanilla and then mint. So we went for two of the bars that are 75%. Oh, she wrapped them. Oh, so nice. We got a mint and a vanilla, and they are dang good. This was an amazing stop. I thought this is supposed to be like a physical activity kind of adventure. I was when we arrived, okay? I worked really hard to get here and now we're gonna eat chocolate all day. Was your bum sore when you got back on the bike? Oh, my butt is so is. sore. We're, we are not used to this. Uh, nope. Also, how cool is it that we're in like a small town? Like I saw the map briefly um, and uh, yeah, we are far. Well, it seems far anyways from Antigua. Like we're in yeah. a completely separate town and it's cool that we got here by ourselves on a bike. Yeah. It's just like a really neat way to go further and really get off the, uh, you know, like the touristy yeah. kind of areas. And yeah. See a bit more of the local life. But still like go far. Like I feel like you can go quite a ways on a bike, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. I totally get why like bike touring is such a thing. I know. Oh man, it's such a cool way to see a place. I, I feel like we went might start getting addicted to this. Yeah, this might have been dangerous for us. That's what we're gonna to wanna to do now in every city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice way to yeah. explore because I feel like doing a little bit of physical exercise, doing a little bit of a cultural immersion. Yeah, eating chocolate. Eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Each town has their own church, their own uh, Park. It's part of the culture that you go out with your friends. That, uh, most of the time they are old people. Mm -hmm. They drink tea or coffee. They have good conversation yeah. and they can stay there at night and nothing will happen. It's a very safe place. Wow. It's like wow. the community center. The community open, place of yeah. for everyone to wow. have uh, connections and good conversation. Oh, I'm just loving this tour so much. 
I love that we like, we we bike, we stop, we look at something cool, we learn about Guatemala, we bike, we stop, we do that again. Yeah. It's so cool. It's, it's just, I just love how you, we, we can just go further. Yeah. That's the thing like, also, I never really thought about I, when going, doing these bike tours. Yeah. Not, it's not only you see different things, but you just kind of, it's just like maybe an easier way to get a bit more yeah. of a local experience because you're not walking around the same spot that every yeah. other tourist is. Also, I'm loving that like we're not in a van. Like I feel like you could do this in oh, a vehicle, true. but like it would be nowhere near as cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm loving that like I get to smell everything and feel the air on my face like I am enjoying this way more than I expected. <laughs> So this is our last stop of the cycling ride. We're at a place called Valhalla, yeah. and it is a macadamia farm. I'm so excited. Macadamia nut wood? Yeah. <laughs> so we have all the stages at the same time, so that's very different. And then we have the, the seeds of the trees are the same. These make it. I'm trying the macadamia nuts now, and that is really yummy. So obviously we bought more stuff. <laughs> so excited. Okay, we couldn't resist. Oh, got that. This, <laughs> which is more chocolate, oh, but it's yeah. white chocolate with macadamia nuts. So good. It was so good. We got a little taster. And this is actually a solid shampoo with macadamia nut oil because I'm almost out. I use solid shampoo when we travel. Uh, so perfect. It's in here. They're solid. I'm like, I was just thinking yesterday in the shower. I'm like, man, where am I gonna get this in Guatemala? Apparently at the macadamia factory. <laughs> So this has been a really nice last stop, but now that we're like ready to go back to Antigua, it's been raining. And um, I don't know, I, I packed a little bit of rain gear, but I'm not sure if I have enough for the amount of rain that's happening right now. So we have been trying to wait out the rain a little bit, but I don't think it's actually letting up. No. I feel like it's almost getting worse. And we have about a half hour ride back to Antigua. Apparently it could be longer, but yeah, we're gonna try to take the short way. We're gonna try to take the short way, which might be on a little bit more busier roads. So yeah. this is gonna be interesting. We've got a lot of rain, we've got busier roads. Which means more vehicles, which is scary. Which is gonna be a little and bit scary. Be sleepy. So this so, should be fun. Yeah, hopefully everything goes well. Wow. That was so much fun. Have you ever capped off an adventure with another mini adventure? I love that so much. The only thing I regret is that I did not bring a towel and we're gonna get this car soaking Everything wet. Everything is soaking wet. Oh my gosh, that was so great. I feel like the way back would have just been uh, fun and fast, but instead it was awesome. Yeah, it's so funny because Krista kept asking our guide. She's like, are you guys okay? Yeah. I hope it's okay that it's like raining, that yeah. you guys are all wet. And we're like, this is amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. what we live for. It was just like sensory overload in the best way. Oh God, I thoroughly enjoyed that. We hope you guys like the set of adventures that we had in this video. Mm -hmm. Once again, if you want to check out these adventures, make sure you check out the link down in the description below for 10 adventures. Um, we have lots more adventures coming up with them. We do. So this is just like a little teaser of yeah. what's to come. And yeah, we're going to go and do some more adventures here in Guatemala with 10 adventures. So um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss those. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. She wants that. I don't know, no, baby girl. Just one little like. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. No, Missy, no. Let me go. <laughs> was it good? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad, for the marshmallow.